We've been talking this morning about um, saying goodbye to your pets. Everybody's got a different little routine when they leave the pet exactly. behind. Um, I don't know if, if um, I've never really said goodbye to the cat, no. but um, the dog always just has this terrible look on his face when he knows we're going to leave the house. So have a bit of a conversation with him. We've got an expert on the phone right now, Darren the Dog Man from Mindfulness for Dogs. Darren, how are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I've heard Darren the Dog Man for a while now. It's great. <laughs> good stuff, mate. So, okay, what, what, what are your tips for when you leave the house? How should you exit when it comes to your dog? Yeah, well, one of the one of the things to think about is dogs are creatures of habit. Okay, so so if we change the way that we normally act when they're calm, um, then they start to think there's something wrong. So so when we normally just leave the house um, just to go to the shop or something, we probably just walk out, and not really care about it, do we? And the dogs just sort of sit down and, and calm down. But but when we go to work, we go, oh, that's a good boy, and give him a big cuddle and a kiss. Then you're leaving them in a really anxious state, and then they get really stressed out. Um, and pretty much the first 15 minutes is going to be continual barking, and your neighbour's going to get up upset with you and all sorts of things so so when you leave them you want to be as calm calm as you normally are so just just don't even worry about it. just say yep see you later mate um we always uh, we always joke um we used to be teachers me and my wife used to be teachers many years ago and then um, we always say to the dogs school time right as we leave and that's quite a good little trigger so having a keyword or an object that you place somewhere tells the dogs that you're leaving and it's all okay so that's, that's one of the key things is having that that keyword i don't know what guy what you guys do so what would you? Well, I'm. I'm. My key word is. Um, I'll see you later, Fred. I'll be back home at four <laughs> thirty. <laughs> oh, we always tell them what time we're home as well. People have this idea that dogs don't um, think about the time, mm. but they do. They get it. We used to have a video camera um, watching our dogs all the time, and I would guarantee the second I would think about leaving work, I could watch the video camera. Dogs were they'd all been asleep, and they'd suddenly all get up and start looking around because it's dinner time, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so they know exactly when you're coming home. Yeah, but the most important thing, just keep it nice and relaxed, nice and cool. Don't get overexcited because if you if you leave when they're overexcited, then what's happening is you're getting them quite anxious because suddenly they're you've left them in a really excited state and then there's nowhere to no nowhere for that to come out you're yeah. gone so they're going to try and find you they're hey. going to they try and escape or all sorts of things yeah hey darren what do you think of um the technique i employ at my house with uh, the dog poncho and it's just it's just a one word and it's every morning it's behave and then you're out behave, behave. Does, it, does it work Oh, he, sometimes, sometimes I get back and he, he's sort of on my bed where he's not allowed to be and he looks over at me with those puppy dog eyes and you're like, oh, Poncho. So he's got you quite well trained then. He does, he does, <laughs> definitely. Hey, the other thing you could do um, with Poncho then is, have you seen those sort of, um, those toys that you can fill with treats? Yes. They're called Kongs, yeah? So maybe get one of those and rather associating with a, a kind of idea that he doesn't really understand, behave is kind of out there, isn't it? Yeah. Give him that toy and, and say the word behave as you throw him a toy and then he'll associate chewing and having fun with that toy with the word behave. Oh. And that might give him a real, you know, something to latch on to, you know, because the word behave doesn't really mean a lot to no. the dog. No. Could be lots of things, couldn't it really? But that would be very specific, man. Probably doesn't mean a lot to you. Chew. Probably doesn't mean a lot to you either, Jay. No, it's just no. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. What yeah. can I say? Hey, Darren, it's lovely to talk to you, mate. If anyone wants to no find way, out man. more about Darren the Dog Man, um, just get on mindfulnessfordogs.co.nz. Nice to talk to you, Darren. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Take care, mate. Thanks.